problems are like washing machines. They twist us, spin us, and beat us around. But in the end, we come out cleaner, brighter, and better than before. Problems can never be avoided and will always exist. But what if I told you problems are opportunities in disguise? We can control what our problems mean to us by choosing how to think about them and how we view them. In this video, we'll be discussing how to view problems, five ways on how to handle them, and why embracing our problems is essential for growth. Hey family, welcome back to the channel. My name's Joseph, I'm a doctor from Norway, but that doesn't matter. If I want to climb, man, I, I, I can, I'm, I'm filming today. Film there, sure, I guess, why, why not? Seems like we're climbing today. Whether something's a problem or a challenge is all about perspective, right? Yeah. Well, not really. I love climbing, but I have a fear of heights. However, I want to overcome that fear of heights. I could either choose to be a pessimist and feel defeated by the overwhelming problem that is reaching the top of that trail, that one, or I can choose to be an optimist and give it a try anyways. By the way, I've never managed to complete one of those before because I'm scared as f and I have no shame in saying that either. So, yeah. Those who see the situation as a challenge rather than a problem have a psychological advantage. However, the person who questions the nature of the problem has the greatest advantage of all. To be a successful problem solver, you can't only be in love with the result. I mean, everyone does, but you have to be passionate about the process. During this process, you'll experience a lot of challenges or problems, depending on how you look at it. Problems are born the moment it gets in the way of something we want or don't want. If the problem doesn't affect us, well, then it's not our problem. Welcome back to the studio. It was a bit noisy there. Anyhow, problems in their purest form is a situation or a state that affects or could affect something we care about. By dissecting and appreciating a problem fully, we can identify its components and break it into smaller subproblems. In my case, I want to overcome my fear of heights. A subproblem could be the anxiety and overthinking that I could fall and die if the rope were to snap. Or another subproblem could be the anxiety related to others looking at me whilst filming. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cringe filming in public. Anyways, you have to keep in mind that solving one subproblem doesn't mean you solve the overall problem. But when breaking down a problem into smaller components, we can approach it more efficiently. The way we tackle the challenges we face defines who we are. Challenges differ from problems because they're chosen rather than encountered. Accepting a challenge gives us a sense of willpower. So tackle a problem head on. Say in my case, wanting to overcome my fear of heights means rising up to the challenge. If the problem is the overwhelming anxiety of being high off the ground, then the challenge is to control it. How? Well, the most effective tool is exposure therapy. If the problem is the fear of falling and dying, then the challenge is to adapt a mindset to see if your assumptions are real. How? CBT, a very, very effective and highly studied tool and I love it. In all situations that we're faced with, the problem is why we act and the challenge is how. The problem is the situation and the challenge is the response. Trying something new always carry risks, whether it's your time, energy, reputation, whatever the case may be. Once you have your diagnosis set, you focus your resources, meaning your time and energy, into those challenges that lead to your desired goal. Each time you steer off or deviate away from your goal, you'll find yourself exponentially further away from your goal as time passes. The climb to the top is a never-ending upward spiral with new problems always surfing and new processes that you must fall in love with. You're never allowed to stop climbing because the entire point is to love the climb. If you ever stop loving the climb, the results will never come. Adapting a problem-solving mindset is key to approaching any problem. Having interesting problems drives creativity, so try to adapt a mindset where you thrive on understanding the challenges and exploring the options on how to overcome them. Einstein once said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking that we used when we created them. It's important to identify the root cause of the problem before you start solving it. Ask yourself questions to figure out what the real issue is and what's causing it. You might not find the answer right away, but keep trying and trying, because trust me, with time, you'll figure it out. Break the problem down into smaller, more manageable parts. 
This will make it easier to solve and allows you to tackle it bit by bit. Something that really helped me out was note taking. It sounds stupid and boring as f but trust me, it works. If you're stuck with understanding the problem and seeing the options, do it with others. Talk it out, whether it's with your friends, family, or whoever. Don't be shy. Most people are often very happy to help you out and they might even appreciate you reaching out to them. It's also a perfect excuse to socialize or work with others. Once you've identified the root cause and dissected the problem, brainstorm some potential solutions. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. When you have found some potential solutions, put them into action whether you think shit or not. Don't wait for the perfect solution or for someone else to solve the problem for you. Trust me, the more you do yourself, the more you learn. Once you get going, track your progress and see how you're doing and adjust your approach as needed. It's natural that we're gonna experience some changes and inconsistencies, but remind yourself what you're trying to achieve. After all, your actions define you, not your words. Remember that problem solving is a skill that can be developed over time with practice. So don't give up, keep trying and you'll eventually get there. Finding something important and meaningful in your life is perhaps the most productive use of your time and energy. So the next time you're faced with a problem, ask yourself the question, what's the cause of it? And what are the biggest problems I can solve by overcoming the simplest challenge? Sure, problems are difficult, stressful, and they can be painful, but the more you expose yourself to them, the easier it gets. So don't hope for a life without problems, hope for a life with good problems. Problems never stop, they merely get exchanged or upgraded. Be the person you want to be, because the only person standing in between your dreams and goals is yourself. If you found this video helpful or at least enjoyed it, please give it a like, maybe share it with your friends or family. If it's not too much to ask for, why not subscribe and join the family? Anyways, I won't bore you anymore. Take care and have a blessed day. JB signing out. Peace.